guys, so first vlog coming up. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while because I just want to build some long form content and give you an idea of what a day might look like for me. Um, get you some recipe ideas, get you some workout ideas, and then just every so often maybe have a talk about certain topics. So today I'm just going absolutely free ball it. I'm probably going to be a little bit less natural today uh, because it's my, obviously my first time talking to camera, but it's my first time kind of putting this together. So I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to start. Um, we've got a few things to go through today. So I'm going to do my full day of eating. I'm going to do a grocery shop and I'll, I'll take you through what that looks like as well. I've um, got a workout to do as well. Um, and other than that, I might just have a quick, a few chats in between just talking about a few topics. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and like that, I'm just going to try to build up this YouTube uh, channel small bit. So if you could, it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel and if you could like the video. Um, every morning for the last four or five years. So as you saw, it was just 70 grams of oats, um, a small bit of sweetener. Now the sweetener I used is quite sweet. Um, so if you're here using it, you probably would want to be very sparing with it. Got it on my protein, uh, very, very sweet. I think it's like a hundred times sweeter than sugar, but add a small bit of that because I do like my things sweet. Um, add it in one scoop of protein, uh, which is both powders. Uh, I think it was peanut butter chocolate or something. Peanut chocolate and then i added some peanut butter and just a small bit of banana sunday um on on sundays or the weekend we generally would go over to do the shopping so we actually go we do we do two different shops we do aldi and we do either tesco or super value as well so we've already got the tesco shop done this week so i'm going to do the aldi shop now i haven't got the balls yet to, to video record inside there but what i'll do is i'll get the shop and i will go through everything in detail after aldi is our main shop so i'll just go through all the stuff that we buy for the week um, obviously I'm gaining, well it's not obvious, but I'm gaining at the moment, so I'm trying to put on weight, so I am eating a lot of food at the moment. So I'll go through, I'll break down my calories and my protein and macros and stuff at the end of the day, and how we track them all, and basically what, what it looks like and what I'm trying to achieve from it. Outside Aldi, armed with a mask and an absolute mammoth of a shopping list. So wish me luck. Take it all. Take it all. Right, so this is the subtotal of our shop. Um, I'm not going to go through everything in detail, but I will just take out some of the stuff, um, the food stuff that I eat the most, and I'll just put it into different categories just so you can see. But you can see, like, this is a lot of shopping, obviously. Um, but it's for three people, and it's probably three quarters of the shop you probably would do in a week, <laughs> which is me. Okay. I'm going to just start with the snacks because um, I'm the ice cream is there and it's going to thaw out. So basically what we have here, okay, is there some of those kind of types of potatoes. So pop-outs, I absolutely love these. Um, so you got barbecue or sour cream and onion. Um, they're really, really nice. Got some popcorn. This is actually a really nice popcorn. It's like, um, this, it tastes kind of like cinnamon popcorn, which is cool. Um, just some other potatoes and then some low calorie ice creams. Actually, these are great. These are like, these are only 70 calories per um, ice cream. I do a comparison video of different ice creams soon, but these are so, so handy if you're dieting because um, it's just, it's nice to be able to add, fit something like this in and uh, 70 calories is nothing and it takes a while to eat it as well. So quite good that way. Um, some kind of higher calorie ice cream here. Generally we'll have that with some, maybe some jelly sometimes. Then we just have some chocolate, um, nothing crazy there. And then some just hard boiled sweets. Again, another great option if you are dieting. Now there's probably about 30 calories per, per sweet, but it takes you about 10 to 15 minutes. So if you're just kind of craving something kind of sweet, you want to fit something in, then it's no harm just to get kind of the hard boiled sweets because they do last longer and they'll um, obviously just kind of that hit that sweet spot a little bit. Then we kind of got just Ali's version of Coke Zero. Uh, it's quite nice. And then Ali's version of Monster. So just an energy drink with caffeine, simple enough. Okay, next up we have the carb sources. So 
just like most people, like breads um, is, is a common stay in our house as well. So don't demonize carbs and don't demonize breads and stuff. It's not, if you're trying to lose body fat, um, bread isn't the issue. Like if you're obviously eating nothing but bread, that might be a problem because your calories won't be great, but it definitely isn't an issue if you can kind of just make sure that you're, um, you're not overdoing it and you're just making sure you're getting your other good stuff into your diet as well, but definitely not a big issue. You can go for these like lower calorie breads. Basically, it's the same thing, only that they're smaller slices. So you can add their 60 calorie slices compared to most bread, which is like uh, 100 calories. So this normal Brennan's bread would probably be per slice is probably about 90 to 100 calories compared to the 60 calorie one. So just an easy way to cut down on bread if you want to do that. Uh, these slimbos, these are only 100 calories so that you can uh, probably trade them in for a burger bun if you want to just to save a bit again. Uh, these are handy for sandwiches as well if you want to save like calories on that if you are dieting. Um, these are just normal burger buns. They're probably about 160 per, um, per burger bun. They're actually a little bit different. Like you can get big burger buns that are like 200 calories or more, but these are quite good as well if you want to fit them in. Um, these chips, these are absolutely a game changer. I love these. Uh, they're just pre-cut chips basically. Um, so they're like, if you buy frozen chips in, in any supermarket, you're going to, um, it's going to be a lot more calories in these because they're already like pre-oiled um, and soaked in oil. So they're going to have a lot more calories per 100 grams. Per 100 grams is like 90 calories. Per 100 grams of frozen chips, you're talking probably about 150 or 60 calories. So a great way to save calories. Also, um, these are just so handy. Just fire them into the air fryer. Uh, it actually looks a bit gone off. Fire them into the air fryer and um, just put some seasoning on them and you're away with it. So basically these are just the equivalent of putting up your own chips. I always buy baby potatoes because they're easy. Uh, my phone memory actually just went in the middle of this <laughs> shop. Shopping haul, so not ideal, but I'm going to finish it off. Um, so like I said, the baby potatoes, ideal if you just want to cut up your own ones because they're very easy to cut them. So I usually cut them up to like roast potatoes or just into normal chips if you want to. But um, what you do then is spray them with some fried egg spray, put some seasoning on them and throw them into the air fryer. It's very, very handy, way lower on car calories than getting the frozen chips, as I said. And obviously way, way lower on calories than putting in some um, deep fried chips as well. So nice calories ever. Now, <laughs> if you are dieting, this is not the way to go um, because these are so, so nice. But I'm not dieting at the moment and sometimes I need to get some calories into my diet just to make sure that I'm gaining weight. Um, so these are an easy one just to fit in if I'm feeling that I'm full. I don't want to eat anything kind of quote unquote healthy because um, it's obviously just they fill you a lot more with other foods. So you can fit in foods that are a little less filling and easier to get in. So the calories in these are very, very high for a 30 gram serving, which is nothing. It's 140 calories. So that's without the milk and stuff. So definitely if you struggle with cereal in the house and you're dieting, I wouldn't uh, recommend these. But if you're trying to gain weight and it's in, uh, you're looking to get calories into your diet, these are a really, really easy thing to add in and they're absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so next up, we just have my protein sources. Um, so we actually have a good few things in the freezer already, like mints, um, and turkey burgers, turkey mints and things like that. So this is just kind of what we were just stocking up on. So I get these, these are really, really handy. So I just throw these in the freezer and if I ever need a quick meal, it's ready for me. So just a chili con carne, just a ready-made meal. It's like three euro per meal, I think, or something like that. Um, really good calories and a good amount of protein for what you get. So they have a few different types. So they have chili con carne, they have like a shredded um, burrito bowl. I think they have um, a shredded chicken burrito bowl. They have Spaghetti bolognese, uh, chicken curry, and different things like that. So they're quite handy and cheap. Also got just my basic uh, packet of meats. So ham trimmings, really, really good in protein and also tasty and good in calories. Uh, just packet ham, general packet ham, and then a packet pack of chicken. So same again, really, really handy if you're looking for convenience food. I think people get too caught up and having to have everything like organic, blah, blah, blah. And uh, just if, if you can get the simple stuff, convenient foods, get them because it's so handy. So I'm to throw these into, into stir fries, so I'm to throw them into the sandwiches, whatever you need just to get a quick meal into it. Um, then we have some beef medallions. So these are like just lean versions of steak. Quite nice, again. Um, but obviously it's going to be a lot more protein and a lot less fat. So you're not going to have as much like juiciness from it, I suppose. But it is actually a really, really nice um, steak. And it's it's going to be better calories than uh, the normal ones. I can't remember. Per 100 grams, we're talking about about 120 calories, which is nothing. That's probably as lean as a chicken. Uh, then, speaking of chicken, we have just not our normal chicken breast. Uh, so I just got a normal 
fillets and then I also got like a mini fillets so they're kind of cut up for you so they're ideal for like stir fries if you want to try them out if you want to just um a pre kind of cut for you then we have some turkey rashers again with these I usually get smoked I meant to get smoked but with these just really low in calories compared to normal rashers um high in protein and if you get the smoked ones they're really nice as well they're salty um so it's just good to add in and just a nice substitute for normal rashers other than that I just have some yogurts so Trying out this new um, skier, I think how you pronounce it, skier, skier, uh, yogurt. So again, with this one, good amount of protein. I think it's like for 100 grams, you get like 10 grams of protein, wherever it is. 100 grams is 10 grams of protein, and it's 87 calories. So a nice flavored one. Now you can also get just like a zero percent natural yogurt, which is very very bland, and add your own stuff to it. But if you want a flavored one, and um, this is probably a good option. So again, just add this probably to like um into jelly and stuff like that or whatever. But a good protein source. These I absolutely love these. So again, um, it's a type of it's a, it's kind of like a pudding it's a consistency. But there's the vanilla one and there's a the chocolate one. Uh, it's like 110 calories for one of these, and you're getting like with per per package you're getting like 16 grams of protein so a really really good protein source if you're struggling to, to get protein into you and again you can just add this to different stuff or you can add stuff to it so handy that way and i'm just trying that one the sky or yogurt as well so it's, it was actually cheaper so i'm just going to try this one out and see how it tastes but uh, again a good amount of protein in this probably not as much as the other ones and probably same calories so it wouldn't be as good an option but definitely i'm um, going to try it out and see how it is also for that, um, the prawns, extremely good source of protein, um, prawns, these are actually cooked prawns, so it's handy, you just defrost them, fire them into a stir fry or whatever you want, um, really, really good calories and really good amount of protein, so for 100 grams of this, um, for 100 grams of this, it's only like, where are we, 100 grams of this, you're talking about 74 calories, that is a crazy good, um, so, and really, really high in protein as well. So if you're in a diet and you're struggling for calories, adding prawns into different dishes is an absolute game changer. And they're like, of course, if you like them, they're it's handy as well, but you can also add seasoning just to kind of make them a little bit more interesting. Okay, last few things um, to go through to make up the rest of the shopping list this week. Um, so here I just got the fruit and veg, basically. Um, just this stuff over here. Now this is very standard. Um, a lot of our food is going to be made up of this. If you're dieting especially, Obviously, you just want to make sure that most of your food is coming from wholesome sources and they're going to fill you. And that's the big thing to keep, make sure hunger is at bay when you're dieting. So I fit in a lot of fruit and veg throughout the day, even when I'm gaining to some extent. It's probably less than I'm gaining because I don't want to be as full as much because I want to get them as many calories as I can into me. But you can see here, just standard, some um, chopped lettuce, very easy sandwiches and stuff, um, Caesar salad. You got some mandarins, tomatoes, uh, bananas, blueberries, carrots, um, cucumber, broccoli, parsnips, mushrooms, grapes, and peppers. Green beans also really, really handy to um, just fire into the microwave for dinners. If you want just some greens on the side just to make up the dinner, to fill you a lot more, fire these into the microwave for literally two minutes and you have some veg on the side. Um, I love these as well, corn and cob. So these are actually just, again, two minutes in the microwave and you're good to go with them. And it's just nice to have something on the side, especially if you're dinner, like if you're dieting and you want to make sure that you're getting the most of your dinners, having something like this at the end of your dinner just makes you feel like you're eating more. It's like probably 80 calories per corn and cob and it takes you a while to eat it. And it just, again, gives you a psychological boost thinking that you're eating more than you actually are. But yeah, most of my diet will be made up of this stuff, whether I'm dieting or not dieting. Um, at the moment, I'm not dieting, but I'm still eating a lot of this stuff. Just for general health, obviously, and energy. So it's important to build most of your diet around this stuff. Okay, so last few bits just to finish up with. Um, so these are absolutely um, brilliant, to be fair. I've been using these now for the last few months, and you can just add them to so many different things. So lightest Philadelphia cheese, it's so good to, to fit in as a substitute to like any spread like butter and stuff, um, really low in calories. Taste isn't great in the lightest one, but you can add flavoring to it, like add spices and stuff, but it gives you that creamy texture. Yeah, you can go for the light one as well, it's probably a bit nicer, a little bit more fat, but um, these are great, and you can get a couple of ones that are flavored as well, so you can get like a herb one. Um, is there like a chive and herb one? It's really, really nice, and also, this is basically, oh, sorry, the garlic and herb it's called. This is the Aldi version. No, uh, actually I haven't tried this yet, so I'm gonna try this out. It's a lot cheaper, but I'm just gonna try this. Again, 
low on calories and it's just a nice thing you can add in. These are great to add to like uh, stir fries and stuff if you want to, like a carbonara kind of type meal. Um, but you can also add them as a spread to bread and things like that. So great shout for them. Just add them in. Um, trying this out, definitely not great in calories if you're dieting, but if you're gaining, um, very, very good just to add in and get a few extra calories to like oats and add to anything really. I suppose you can add to probably yogurt and stuff as well, but uh, it. I've already tasted some of it. <laughs> it's quite nice. Um, so I'm going to try that out later. Uh, last few things, bacon lardons. So these are just a nice substitute to things like, like pancetta, it's like the fattier kind of meats. So you could easily just add this in the stir fries again. Really salty, so it gives the stir fries a nice taste, but it's lean. So you get a, a nice bit of protein and not a whole pile of calories. So great thing to add in stir fries. Um, these are a great substitute to normal sausages. So we got turkey sausages and, and pork sausages. So I actually got these in Tesco. Uh, they're melons. Uh, 45 calories, 43 calories per sausage. So that is like great um, comparison to, we'll say, a normal sausage, which was probably about 80 or 90. So a great substitute there if you're are dieting and you want to just still kind of fit in some of the foods you like, but just get a bit of bang, a better bang for your buck. Last few things, peanut butter, again, a nice one if you're gaining weight and you're trying to add some calories, nice just add in because you're getting a lot of calories for the amount you're going to get off it. So like per tablespoon of this is 92 calories. Um, so, you know, it's very easy to get into it. If you wanted to, if you're struggling to gain weight and you wanted to add some calories in, this would be a great way to go. Add to a cereal, add to uh, smoothies or something like that. Um, this one, definitely a dieter's food. So again, a great substitute for normal mayo um, or just any kind of sauce that you're, you're adding in. So nine calories per serving of this. So it's really, really low. Um, these are literally a game changer. I'm going to do a video later on this comparing um, normal mayo to, these, to this mayo, but it's, it's really, really good again to add in if you're trying to um, lose some body fat. Um, hummus. Now, definitely again, a gaining, probably a gaining type food. Like there's no thing as gaining and a, a dieting food as such, but there is some foods that are just higher in calories for the serving you get of them. This one is highish in calories, um, but it's a healthy food and it's very, very nice. So if you can just portion out the, the serving of this and make sure you don't overconsume it, you can definitely fit it into a diet if you like it. Um, and this goes really well with like carrot sticks, um, Crackers to a certain degree, but crackers just adds a lot of calories unless you're, you're trying to gain weight again. Um, probably stick to the carrot sticks for that one. Avocado, most people don't really use these because they just kind of, they, don't, they almost have a fear of them. Really, really popular in Australia, but um, a nice food to add in. Again, just healthy fats. High in calories, so again, be careful the serving sizes, but pretty healthy fats, really good for you and quite nice as well. And the very last thing is some cheese. I always get this cheese in Aldi, 50% less fat. So not a whole pile of calories in this per serving. So for 30 grams, it's only 71 calories. So the reason I get the mature one is just because you still get the really, really nice, strong taste off it, um, but just way less calories. So again, if you're dieting, a great one to try fit in. So that's my grocery haul, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a small bit of food into me and I'm going to get a monster into me and I'm going to go train legs. I'm not going to video the leg session because the memory of my phone is brutal. Uh, such a bad time into one day I decided to vlog. In later videos I will be going into more detail on my training and what it looks like at the moment. Just keeping you updated on my macros as well. So I've had one of these because it burst in the bag in my home. So I had to eat it. <laughs> so I'll put up the calories and macros for that. And I'll give you the total at the end of the day. I've also just had the chili con carne nutri quick meal just before my workout, um, so as you've seen there. So basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go do my workout and- I Okay, workout knocked out. I uh, did a leg day there. It was pretty tough to be honest. Um, feeling it now after that. So we have some um, nice meals coming up soon. So every so often I just have um, a frozen pizza or whatever and I just fit it into my daily macros, uh, my daily calories. Again, no big deal. I'll talk a little bit about this later about how you can do this if you want to, or if it's worth it to you. But again, it's going to depend on your goals and it's going to depend on how many calories you can afford to use each day. But yeah, I'm looking forward to these. Okay guys, so next meal, if you call it that, I'm just going to have a full bar. To be honest, I'm not even that hungry. Uh, it's just the fact that I'm after doing a workout about an hour ago and I don't like to leave it too long after workout to get a good sharp protein into me, um, just for recovery and stuff. So since dinner won't be for another couple of hours, I'm just gonna have um, a protein bar. So about 20 grams of protein in this, which should be enough to keep me tipping over until dinner. Just out for my daily walk. Um, <laughs> 
to be honest, when you're gaining, it's not as big uh, an issue to get steps and stuff. They're obviously great when you're when you're trying to cut down, you're trying to keep your calories, um, calorie expenditure high. But even when you're gaining, I think it's a good idea just to go for a walk, get your, keep your steps high. Mentally, more than anything, it's nice just to get out of the house, um, keep a bit active. But obviously, in terms of your physique and stuff, when you're trying to gain, you don't want to be like overdoing it with the steps because it just means you're gonna have to eat more food. If you're burning more food or burning more calories, you're gonna have to eat more calories, which sometimes for some people, which is hard for some people because some people struggle to get calories in when you're gaining. So if you're struggling to gain weight, I would say keep your steps and activity down a small bit more, but if it's not too hard, then uh, yeah, keep it up. Again, just more for the mental uh, side of things, if anything else. Just a quick one of these guys, great thing about buying a pizza like this, as opposed to getting it from a takeaway, is you know what's in the pizza. So you can put this into my fitness pal. Half the pizza is 400 calories, so at least you know, okay, that's 400 calories. I need to count for. Whereas if you get it from a takeaway, you're just guessing, and a lot of times you probably will underestimate it, and it's just hard to kind of track it. So I'm probably gonna have half this pizza, which is about 400 calories, and probably about a quarter of this one, which would be about another 200. Plus the chips, you're talking about 1,000 calories. Again, for most people, they probably wouldn't have to fit, to fit that into their day, but um, when I'm gaining weight at the moment, I will be trying to get as many calories as I can and actually haven't got that much in today yet. Chips into air fryer, so handy. Um, takes take that long, about 20 minutes, probably we'll do it these days a bit thicker. Usually we cut them a small bit thinner and it'll be quicker, but a bit of seasoning and a bit of egg, uh, fried egg spray, and away you go. And the pizzas are cooking at the same time. Easy. Just that's cooking there as well. Just to let you know, <laughs> this is not a stereo or like a, a typical day for me. So this is this is Sunday, and uh, so every Sunday I probably would have something just a little bit like this because I can fit it into my plan. It works well, and it's not going to ruin my results. Most days I probably wouldn't be having uh, pizza or chips like that, or I'd probably be having more, I suppose, just nourishing dinners. But every once a week, there's no problem doing this, uh, especially when you're gaining weight. Like it's easy to fit them in, and because the hunger levels are a bit lower sometimes, sometimes it's a good thing. If you struggle to get calories into you, doing this every so often is definitely a good thing. But again, just making sure the majority of your diet is coming from healthy food so you're feeling good and you're not overeating. I suppose the big thing I'm always gonna say is that you're in control. Like if you're overeating these foods and you can't stop yourself, that's different to someone who's actually fitting them in to a plan throughout the week. So if you're doing that and you're in control, then all good, I think, to be fair. Here's a nice little hack for you as well. Uh, if you use the reduced sugar, ketchup and the lighter than light mayo for pink sauce if you like pink sauce with your chips or pizza there that's a lot less calories than you would get from normal mayo so i'll show the calories this after but it's there's no comparison between this and normal and pink sauce so so for all that mayo or pink sauce, which you probably do three people, is like 50 calories. Um, I'll do a comparison video later showing you what a normal pink sauce would look like. Obviously it's not gonna taste the exact same as the normal mayo, but put some seasoning in there as well, and it really helps and you definitely can see a huge difference. Uh, it's definitely works if you're diving and you want to save some calories. Chips coming on nicely. I genuinely think the air fry has been the best investment I've ever made. I've had it for years and I always use it.
Just lastly on this meal, it's something you can definitely try to fit in to your calorie allotment each week. If you're dieting, it's going to be a lot harder because your hunger level is going to be higher and something like this takes up a lot of calories. So the rest of your day would have to be really in check and you'd have to be eating a little to fit it in. But if you're someone that um, can do that, by all means do it. Um, but you just got to be careful because remember hunger is the biggest enemy in when dieting so if you're eating calorie dense foods that are very palatable in meaning that you i could eat two or three of these <laughs> easily and um, it just makes the diet harder so you got to remember that but if you weren't if you're not dieting if you're just trying to maintain your weight easily you can easily fit them in if you're trying to gain weight even more so so yeah it's, it's all about just context and just making sure that you're within your calorie targets but you're also trying to find the foods that are filling you which is really important okay guys dinner down <laughs> um some someone would probably punch me in the face for saying this but like when when you're gaining and you've been gaining for a long time your hunger, your hunger just isn't there as much anymore so foods like that just don't appeal to me as much anymore and i don't enjoy them as much um if i was dieting that would have been that would have been godly but yeah the fact that i'm not it just doesn't uh, appeal to me as much but it's grand it's fine and like that i got a lot of calories in without filling me too much i could still eat now which i suppose which you can see when you're dieting that's why it's a bad thing because you eat it and you still want more and it just never fills you so you just got to be smart about about them things but plan for the evening now is i'm just going to try to do a small bit of reading uh on the laptop i've got an ebook that i'm trying to get through uh so i'm going to spend about half an hour on this at least uh i'm trying to get into to, to, to reading a small bit more i've been hit and miss with it been good at times but just not enough um so just going to read for about a half an hour to an hour see how we get on with that and then i'm just going to chillax and watch uh tv for the night there's a few matches on and i will take you through the rest of my meals for the day and then that will be it for the vlog Okay, as you can see, I've just devoured um, my protein oats, which I always have in the evening as well. I uh, had some of that biscuit spread from Aldi inside. It was really, really nice. I had that inside and a twirl. And to finish off my day's eating, I'm going to have this yogurt I got today. So it's a skier, 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 um, Greek yogurt. So high protein again, uh, it's strawberry flavored. And I'm going to have a packet of popcorn. Popcorn is always my go-to snack, um, whether I'm gaining or, or dieting. Just very voluminous and i really like it so it just fits in well and um, if you are dieting it's great because there's like 120 calories 130 calories for this full packet it takes a while to eat it and it just keeps you fuller for longer so that's basically that to finish off my day's eating okay guys that is a wrap on the vlog i hope you enjoyed it um i'm going to put my total macros and calories on the screen now so that you can see where i hit um just around the 3000 mark which i'm, I'm aiming for at the moment because i'm trying to gain weight so that's what puts me in the calorie surplus. I'm going to get into detail about like my goals and how I do it um, in, in other videos. I'm going to try to put out a vlog a week if I can for the next few months um, because I will be going through um, dieting periods as well. So that'd be interesting for you to see how my food changes during them periods. But I'm going to kind of explain some, I'm going to make some videos explaining how, why I eat certain foods, why I eat certain calories, protein and so on. Um, so that it's give you a better idea of all that stuff. So same with training, going to do some uh, future videos on training, why I do the certain training I do, and I'll just give you some more detail on my actual training and maybe some more descriptions while I am actually training as well, which will help you just to kind of get a picture of my whole overall program, not just one aspect of it, because it all this, like obviously all comes together and that's what makes uh, progress. So I will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Like I said before, please like the video and subscribe to my channel because I will try to do a lot more of these in the future. Catch you in the next one.